go to the clan leader. Or er, not grunt. You can go where you want. You again. I told you the blood pack only wants croaking. Go flash your smooth skin somewhere else. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care.
still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my... Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage. Can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage. Can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Samara wants a moment with you, Samara. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh research and figure out how to, you know, okay, that sounded bad. you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. 
This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran. And I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. 
she can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth.
Hey, got a minute? The word is that Garrus really likes you. I can never tell with Turian. I think you should go for it. A lot of people want to see you two together. Liara Tissoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. So the Collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. woman squatting down in the sub deck what if she touches anything i'll kill her oh and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos oh maybe i should go down and welcome her aboard and she's a murderer has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink hates everyone in cerberus damn it girl stop toying with me just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy, or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank-bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we'd better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. messages for you, Commander. Away. 
launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away.
No messages for you, Commander. Launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me. What kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, 
willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's crate box, and I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds KG's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to all the time we spent. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. KG never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then.
How did you ever contain that situation in Pug? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. He's gone. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. What's your read on the Archangel line? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. Clearance to go in. On whose authority? Hawk gave me permission to go in. Hawk knows procedure. You're not getting in till I hear it from my commander. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long. 
long enough for me to get a voice. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners, the support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guards' communications, I could probably use this information. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. It's clean. It's a plant. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough.
That's all of them. Huh. Found a sample? No, a credit shit. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pack. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Santiago took over that refinery on Zoria. He's such a shrewd businessman. The Blue Suns are lucky to have him. Ready when you are. Get ready. You can't be back here. See what you can find. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. That got it. The barrier's down. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Password required. Perugia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. 
I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. That's... impressive. Not sure what it is, though. This looks like quarry script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This looks interesting.
don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die. Scream. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill them! Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now! Find another way. Good a place as any. Enemy sight. Ground and cover. <laughs>
It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. Can I do it? Should I do them? It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. Focus! 
cloaking. Check your... That's the easy way, Gonzo. Allow me to show you the hard way. Here they come. Look behind, behind you. My shields are down. Yeah. 
shot. Here we go. that thing apart. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead... And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you.
Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He lays the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about her. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. There you are. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's Grey Box, but it doesn't make it any easier. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about.